everyone, it's Mary Beth. Welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in the 5 Under 5 DIY Challenge. And this month it is Home Decor for the Holidays. This is hosted every month by Emily at Farm Charm Chic and Missy at Crafty Cove. This month's guest host is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. So I have five projects for you. Um, and this first one is just a sign I made, a joy sign, as you can see here. And it was very straightforward. The palette board or whatever I have there, I believe I got that at Michael's. And then the J and the Y, they're pretty large, I got on clearance at Michael's. And then the wreath, um, it's a grapevine wreath. Oh, I'm trying to remember where I got that from. I have many ones that I got on Amazon, which I think are listed in my Amazon store. But this one is a little bit bigger. And for the life of me, I cannot remember. But it was either Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I believe. Anyway, very straightforward. I'm going to paint the sign and then going to paint the um, letters. And then you'll see me put the wreath together. And that was really it. So I'm going to let you sit back, enjoy them. I got lots of great Christmas music for you. So I'll probably uh, try not to talk as much in this video so that you can enjoy all the Christmas music. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in just a little bit. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Who mangers greet with anthems sweet while shepherds watch our keeping? This, this is Christ the King whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. So bring him incense, gold, and myrrh, compassion, king, to own him. Of King salvation brings, let loving hearts enthrone him. Raise, raise a song on high, the virgin sings her lullaby. A joy, a joy for Christ is born, the babe, the son of man. Okay, there it is. I really hope that you like it. Um, pretty simple and straightforward, but I don't know. 
I think it looks good. All right, the next uh, DIY is a twine tree. It's actually more of like a rope tree. <laughs> you can use the nautical rope from uh, Dollar Tree, but I had some that I think I got at Joann's, but it's pretty much the same. And then I'm gonna use one of these cones that I got um, at Joann's, but I think it was Joann's, but again, I've seen them at Dollar Tree too. So, um, all I'm going to do is wrap this, uh, cone up with this, uh, rope, and then I'm going to put together a garland of beads that I'm going to wrap around. I'm going to put some lights on and then I'm going to use a rustic bell for the top. And then I change my mind and I make a bow. You'll see that. And that's really it, but I think it turned out so super cute. In this video, I have two different types of trees I made. So this is the first one, and you'll see the um, other one. I think it's DIY number four. All right, catch up with you in a little bit. Weary world rejoices for yonder breaks A new and glorious morn falls on your knees Oh hear the angel voice says Oh night divine the night and Christ was born Oh night divine Oh, heartbeat. 
just finishing these this up I ended up doing a bow with the bell on the bow um, and I think it looks a little bit better that way but there it is I hope you like it um, I think it turned out super cute all right moving on to the book stack this is um, a super duper <laughs> easy DIY to do I got three books from the Dollar Tree and I pick them based on their size is what I was really going after here um, I wanted them to be the same size and one of them is thinner which is fine and that's what I put on top and yeah this is pretty self-explanatory just paint it I use some stickers to um, do the words on the side which you'll see here in a little bit and then we just make we put some ribbon around it and make um, just a pretty little uh, floral um, stem to put on top and I think it turned out really really cute so simple and so easy um, all right so I'll let you sit back enjoy the music and I'll catch up with you at the end of this DIY Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, 
Thy leaves are so unchanging Not only green when summer's here But also when it's cold and drear Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Thy leaves are so unchanging Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Such pleasure do you bring me Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Such pleasure do you bring me For every year this Christmas tree Brings to us such joy and glee Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Such pleasure do you bring me Well, I really hope you liked this one. It was so easy to do, but I don't know. I think it's so cute. Oh, by the way, that is the first book stack I've ever made of a normal size book stack. 
So yay. <laughs> All right. This is the other Christmas tree I was talking about that I made. And oh, I ended up really loving this one. So I'm going to use some fabric that I got, I think at Walmart, maybe. Um, and this cone was from Joann's, I believe. It's larger than the ones you can get at Dollar Tree. But you could do this with any size. And I'm going to wrap the cone in this fabric. It's going to be hard for me to explain like how I'm doing. I think it's just going to be easier to watch it because I kind of do, it, it ends up going at like this angle you'll see. Um, so I think it's just easier to watch it. And then what's really fun is I am going to put some garland around it and then I'm going to use some little beads to, you know, act as ornaments. And I don't know, I think it turned out really, really pretty and I really hope you like it. Christmas night Show
All right. Well, I really hope that you liked this Christmas tree. It was a lot of fun to make. Okay, we're heading into the final DIY. And I made a cute little house with a Christmas tree on it. Um, and it was really easy and really a lot of fun to do. So a couple things about this is I have a paper collection called Winterberry by the company My Mind's Eye. I do a lot of paper crafting as well. And I did use some paper from that collection. And then there's these little wooden embellishments that I used as well. However, you can use any paper you like and any cute little embellishments that you like if you can't find that or, or you know, don't have that paper. No big deal. Because the paper I used, I believe, is just like, kind of like, yeah, there it is. It's a striped color. So anyway, um, I also want to thank everybody for being here. And if you are new or coming over from the playlist, welcome. My name is Mary Beth, and I'm so happy you are here today. And if you are an existing subscriber, you already know I'm so, so grateful for you. I also want to make sure and let you know that the playlist to all the amazing creators in this challenge will be listed below in my description box, as well as the host and co-host this month um so please and make sure to check out all of them and support them all right so we are just going to put this paper on this house and then um i'm going to stain the roof with my mixture of black paint and antique wax and then you'll see me uh embellishment embellish it up a little bit. That's hard to say. <laughs> All right. So I will be back in just a moment. up this morning I looked outside my window with children lighting up the Christmas tree and the snow is falling 
It reminds me of the good times Those winters we would spend just you and me It's been such a long time But tomorrow's Christmas Day And I am on my way I'm coming home for Christmas Yes, I'm coming home to you Can't wait to hold you We'll be sitting by the fire And watch our favorite movies on TV We can do what we want to do Walk under the moonlight And kiss under the stars It's gonna be Like we never were apart Yes, I'm on my way This time I'm here to stay Christmas Yes, I'm coming home to you Oh, how much I missed you Okay, so just um, a couple finishing touches here and then this one is done. I think it's so cute and yeah. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed all five of my DIYs and I really, really hope that they gave you lots of inspiration. So with that, I wish everybody a wonderful day and we will talk to you soon. Bye.